So I was called to diagnose this vehicle. This is Honda Civic 2015. So, check the report. It uh, was reporting uh, the FCAN issue with the ABS unit. Then the ABS also is reporting steering angle sensor and other units. So what I'll do now is uh, I'll check the ABS unit. I'll check the ABS unit. Sorry, I'll check the steering angle sensor unit first before I'll do anything. And also the gateway module is also having an issue with the system. So what I'll do now is I'll check the system because there's a lot of F can in it. There's a lot of F can and also the power steering loss communication with the airbag module. But I'm able to scan the airbag module. So what I'll do is now let me go to the airbag module. Hey, sorry, the ABS module. Now let me go to the ABS module and see if I'll get any reading on the steering angle sensor. And check the steering angle sensor. And steering angle sensor can. It's not working. So with this vehicle, what it does is the steering angle sensor communicate with the ABS on the CAN network. So as it's showing this way, that means the steering angle sensor is not communicating with the uh, steering angle sensor is not communicating with the system. So what I'll do now is I'll take everything off and continue with the diagnosis and see why I'm having the issue. And the report also is telling me that I'm having FCAN issue with the gauge module, PCM and other things. But now I can communicate with the ABS also. So with the F can issue, let me check the CAN system and see the CAN communication also. And also let me check the steering angle sensor also and see. So now I'll disconnect. I'll take off the steering wheel so that I can have access to the steering angle sensor and check it where it's having that issue so let me take it out first so what i've done is uh, because it's reporting this steering angle sensor uh, i've already ordered for one so let me place it in and see if the steering angle is going to go off so i have this steering angle sensor with me where i'm going to plug it in and see if it will go off before so i plug in another steering angle which is working so we we'll erase the fourth code to ask me to turn it on and the and I'm still having the F can issue. So now what I'll do is um, I'll check the can communication on the steering angle sensor. So when you check the wiring diagram, this one is power, the brown one is power 12 volts, and this black is ground. Then this two is the can line. So with this car, most of the can lines are most of the can lines are red and white so let me disconnect it so now what i'll do is i'll turn on i'll turn on my scope i'll turn on my scope and check the pins out so i'll turn on my scope and check the pins then I'll know what to do from there. So now let me check on this first pin is power. So let me change my voltage. Let me change my voltage and see if I'll get the power. So now my voltage is set to 5 volts per division and I'm getting battery voltage. So let me move it to 2 volts per division because I'm going to check the can line. And the can line is supposed to be within 
five votes so two votes per division is quite okay and you can see the kind of can line i'm getting the communication line that i'm getting so that means uh, one of the units so you can see the communication i'm getting then let me check for ground it's supposed to be zero so that one is okay so now what i'll do is uh, i'll plug back my steering angle sensor i'll plug back my steering angle sensor then i'll plug back my steering angle sensor then i'll use my breakout box to check the can line itself so let me plug back everything then use my breakout box and with this breakout box whenever the voltage is supposed not to be flashing right so whenever i see a blue flash light like this on pin 6 that means there is an issue with it so let me check the can. And now when i'm checking the can it's still the same as i got it on the it's still the same as i got it on the uh, angle sensor so what i'll do is now i have to start removing the unit one by one and see which one will let the can be stable but before that because the abs is reporting f can issue so i'll remove the abs first then from there i'll know what to do from there so with this one uh, to get access to the control unit over the that's the control unit, but the abs I'm having access to it, easy access to it. So I'll remove the ABS socket first and go and check the can line and see what I'll be getting. So now the ABS socket is out. So what I'll do is I'll go and check the can line. If the can line is okay, then I'll come and check on the pins on the ABS socket and see the issue with the system. So, so now after disconnecting the ABS system, let me change my voltage to one volt per division. Let me change it to one volt per division. So this is one volt per division. And you can see that after disconnecting the ABS, now the can system is okay. So the can system is okay on the breakout box. Let me swap it to the can high. And the can high also is okay. So what I'll do is I'll test it from the back of the from the back of the I'll test it from the back of the steering angle sensor and so now after plugging it at the back of the uh, after plugging it at the back of the steering angle sensor steering angle sensor that means my can high and my can low is the red one so that means everything is okay and the whole issue is from the abs unit so i also did wrong diagnosing by calling for the steering angle sensor so now i have to tell the company that it's no more the steering angle sensor but rather the abs so that they find a way of talking to the customer about it so taking out the abs makes the can network look good that means the ABS is causing the, the problem. So I'll, I'll speak to the company so that they replace the ABS. But before that, I'll go and check the can line on the ABS also and see that side what I'm getting from there. Mm -hmm. So now what I'm doing is I'm coming to check the can line on the ABS unit. And those are the two down one, the, uh, two, the last two pins. So check the can line and it is okay. Check the other can line also can high. And check can high and it is okay. So that means it's the ABS unit. So any moment I plug in the ABS unit, all the network will go down. And it will start reading more of the F cans. So I'll do that then. Or well, first I'll raise all the force code before I plug it back in. Or uh, let me plug it back in so that we see the issue. Yes, mm -hmm. So now I'm not able to communicate with the ABS because I've taken the socket out. And you can see the CAN network is now stable now. So what I'll do is I'll not be able to communicate with the ABS.
because the socket is still out. So I'll erase all the fourth code and see the remaining one. So let me erase all the fourth codes and see the remaining ones. Then I'll know what to do. So the gauge module should only report about the ABS and the steering angle sensor. So now all the remaining ones will be reporting about the ABS and you can even see so the CAN network is okay whilst um, still on it. So now what I'll do is um, let me go to the gauge module and see the faults that it will be reporting. So, F can line error. So, I think you now I have to fix the ABS for all these faults to go. So, I speak to them to change the ABS. At least, uh, it was a wrong diagnosis that I made at first. So, I'll do that and speak with them. Then, I'm done with the diagnosis. So we'll plug it back and come and check the can line. This is when the ABS is not fixed. But I'll go and fix it back and check the can line. So now after fixing the ABS circuit back, now the can network looks good. So what I'll do is I'll push I'll push it in and rectify the issue. Because now the can line is still looking good. But for now, let me scan it and erase it and go ahead and give it a, a little taps and see if the network will be okay. So now the can line is looking good. And there is no flashing light on the can high. The other flashing light is on the 7 or on the pin 7 or pin 15. So and the lights too are off. So let me start the video. So it looks like an intermittent issue. Every light is off. So now the reason why the uh, that sign is off is when I do all sensor calibration, everything will be okay. So everything is okay now. Let me scan the vehicle. Hi. So I, all I need to do is to push the socket in properly and check the system is because of the dust or the mud that went there that's why it cost or maybe because i pushed in my pin into it i cleaned the socket a bit so now the can line is okay and now i'm scanning the whole system to see the actual problem with the system then i'll do all sensor calibration and every light supposed to go off now that I'm having the can line to be okay now, I will erase all the fourth code from the system. It will not go, the PCM will not go off because the engine is still running. So what I'll do is I'll erase all the fourth code from the system. Then I'll do all sensor calibration to let the traction of light go up. And then maybe the TPM is. So I'll do that calibration also. Because now I'm having a good can communication. And I'm also able to communicate to the ABS. So let me go to the ABS system. And okay. Then all sensor calibration. No, now let me go back rather and check the steering angle sensor position. Let me check the steering angle sensor position first. Before I would like to do anything. So go back, live data, then steering angle sensor position. steering angle and you can see the steering angle sensor position is out of range so what I'll do is 
normally we take it out and we reset it so what i'll do is i'll take it out and reset it to the normal position for now so let me do that one because now there is good communication so let me do that one let me take it out and reset it so as i've taken it out now uh, the moment i start moving it will start changing so it's going too much so let me move to let me move anti-clockwise and set it to zero so i'm i'm out so now it's supposed to be zero at this point so i'll fit it at this point zero so now the settings has been done so you see anytime i start rotating to this side then it starts changing so now the settings has been done so what i'll do is let me put it at the right position then fix it back in yes then lock everything back in leave it there then fix the clock spring back so now let me set it to one because to zero because the uh, the adjustment to require me to let it be at zero so now it's at zero let me go to the adjustment all sensor calibration and do the all sensor calibration so press ok and there is no fault code apart from the one stored ok so it's now executing the so you can see now the light is off, the TPMS light also is off. So select gear tools and start the vehicle. Okay. I have to turn the steering to the lock position. So now what I'll do is I'll put on I'll put on the steering wheel to do that. So now let me turn it to the other side to lock it. And turn it to the other side also. Also to lock it. Yeah. Sorry. Okay. 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 Okay.